Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So I am going to do another um, ghost wipe for my house in this large uh, 40 centimeter by 80 centimeter canvas, which is a 15.7 inch by 31.5 inch canvas. So it's a thin sided canvas. And it will look very similar to this, but it is going to be in greens. So I've got three different greens and a silver. But I am super happy how this has turned out. The lacing is still really, really defined. Um, the silver's shiny. It's a decent size. So I am really, really happy how this one turned out. And now I will be working on the green one. So that is my plan. Um, what I will be doing is, um, sorry, just had to put that one away. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to put the white base on and then I will come back. So I'll start on that and then I'll pause it and I'll come back once I've coated this. Okay, I'm back. Oh. It's a little bit tiring doing such a large canvas. I'm really not <laughs> used to it. So, um, my colours are, um, you know what, I'm going to have to read it off the computer. Okay, so my colours are Dame Tree, which is a really light kind of yellowy greeny colour. Then we have permanent light green. And then I have phalo green. And then silver. They are all mixed three parts paint. No, sorry. One part paint to three parts flow troll. Um, these are the leftovers that I did from my other pour. So there's heaps there. And then I just had to make up more silver because I used the silver elsewhere. The white base, so that is, oh, and these are all Holcroft, um, I'll show you the silver. Where did I put the silver? Here. Yeah. So they're all this brand um, in these tubes. So um, I also have Eraldo Di Polo in white, which is this main white base which is this paint here and that is one part paint to four parts flow troll what i have done in this one is i have mixed the paint um i put 35 grams in a cup and then i keep adding it until i've reached 175 grams um keep adding flow troll and stirring it i make up three of those cups i have used two and a half so I didn't quite use all three, but um, I would rather make up a little bit extra than not have enough. Sorry. This is the dilemma of... So we all have our little problems when we do pause. Mine is my beard. I don't have an extra long beard, but I've got whiskers. And they fall out onto my canvas and it's very fresh because I've already picked out three already today. Uh, it's just what happens and because they're small they're harder to get out. But um, really I could shave every day and I'd still have a hairy face by the end of the day so <laughs> it's not going to help me. Alrighty. So these paints are absolutely gorgeous. I made these ones up when I did the one on the MDF board. But I quite liked these. These canvases are quite a decent size. Um, they're, they're good. So I decided to do them on the canvas again. So I'm just giving these a quick stir because they have been settled in these cups for um, maybe 10 days. They still seem fine. Always just check the consistency, whether they have um, thickened up a little bit. It's winter, so they haven't really changed a lot 
if it was summer, I would be a little bit more cautious with how, whether they've gone a little bit drier. So there we go, another little stir. And then the green. So all as I did with the um, white base was I poured on um, the paint. I spread it around with my paint scraper until I covered all sides and the top. Then I pour a little bit extra on and I keep tilting it back and forth over the sides until it becomes nice and even. So it doesn't have to be exactly spot on even, but as even as you can actually get it is usually best. Um, it's just a good way to kind of get it so it's all covered and nice and even. So my next thing I also am going to do is... I'm going to grab a marker pen and I'm going to, that there should be halfway and about there should be halfway. I find on a bigger canvas sometimes you're so busy watching the paint going on the canvas and what style you're doing you kind of got to be careful you don't go too wonky but here we go so I'm going to do the same order as I did last time so light medium dark always start off the canvas pour go onto the canvas do squiggly lines in whatever well I find doing squiggly lines is best it gives me a it gives me a, a different style as I go so that's looking good and I'm already getting paint on me from the canvas then we go green or permanent light green so as we go Start off the canvas, come on, and again, squiggly lines in a different kind of order or pattern to the last one. That came out a little bit drip-like. And then we go phalo green. Again, start off and come onto the canvas. The reason I do wavy lines is <clears throat> when I swipe there, I'll get no phalo green. But then I do here and I get no I get phalo green but not much of the light green. So it gives your swipe sign of a little bit different texture and definition as it goes along. And I always find you can get a little bit heavy at the beginning and a bit light at the end. So, I am just going to start off the canvas and just go on for a little bit and then stop. Always seem to get a little bit heavy at the beginning. Same with the light green. Start on. Just going a little bit over the line. Now it's getting to drips and stop. I'm probably not going to worry with the Dane tree because I think I went a bit heavy at the end as well as at the beginning. So now we are up to the silver. Always give your silver or your metallic, whatever colour you use, a good stir before you do it. Um, I want to go this way but I'm going to make sure I go easy at the beginning. Okay, there we go. And then just keep going over. Doesn't really matter which colours you kind of go over or don't go over. Just go all the way from start to finish. I'm going to move these paints right out my way. I don't want anything getting in my way when I'm trying to swipe because the least distractions or things you have near you, the better. 
You don't want to be halfway through a swipe and then feel like you've got to stop because something's getting in your way. Now, I have made my swipe paper towels ready. I've got my tool just in case anything else drops into the paint while I go. And I have also made up my paint um, swipe cards. You can use all different things. I've got these paint swipe cards. You can use playing cards. You can use um, plastic that you've cut. You can use a whole range of different things. Just stick to the same thing the whole way through. So some of these colours look like they've sunk a little bit, but that's okay. They will end up being pulled across as you go. So put extra ones aside. Now, I'm going to make sure I'm recording before I go ahead any further. And yes, I am. So now, you want to try to get the middle and swipe across. Ending in different variations. Some nearly to the end, some shorter. Some I took the, cow, the card to the right or to the left, just so it lifts up in different angles. And do that all the way along, swapping card over once it feels a little bit, even if it's a little bit soggy, get rid of it. It's just going to mess you up. So, first swipe, I always do half off the canvas and half on. Because you want to make sure that you get as close to the edge as you can. Then go to the same spot halfway down and swipe. halfway down and swipe. If you feel that you have made a little skip where it's left there but retouched there, overlap a little bit and go again. Now that one looked a little bit like I didn't go straight. I went a little bit sideways. Try and keep them as straight as possible and swipe. Again, go to the middle and swipe. I rippled a little bit there. It's the other thing I don't try not to do too much is ripple. So I'm going to try to get to this if I can. There. Again, just pull it down and lift. Halfway down, across, lift. There's a skip there, so I'm going to overlap that slightly. Halfway down, and lift. So, it's just a matter of trying to keep in that middle line. Try not to waver too much further down. So to the middle, down, and lift. Middle, swipe down and lift. Get rid of this swipe card. Start fresh. Once it gets a little bit soggy, you don't want to use it. And if one side is soggy, don't hold it by the very soggy bit because you haven't got control. It, it bends too easily. Hold it a little bit for further in where you've got more control over it. So if I hold it there, it, it's too floppy. Hold it there and it's firm. That's what you gotta gotta do. So, in the middle, swipe down and lift. If you want to go all the way to the end, that's fine. I like to have it a little bit um, uneven with the way that it goes. If you run out of space to, to wipe your thing, fold it over and then keep going. you're using a reasonable amount of white paint and you're using a decent sized canvas. Don't skimp on half a paper towel because you didn't want to waste it. And as much as I like saving the planet, you're going to waste more if you mess up the canvas by not doing it a bit correctly. So again, grab it, swipe down and lift. 
down, swipe and lift. So I'm definitely getting more of the green now I've reached here. I did it at the beginning, I did it at the end, I didn't get as much in the middle. Down, swipe and lift. And again, we have come to the other corner. So we want to overlap it, go over and swipe down. Now, while we're here, we are going to put our card on the edge of the canvas and we're going to swipe the side. Similar to how you do the top, you will not get the same effects, but you don't want four straight lines where the paint just ran over. You don't want just green, 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 silver on sitting on the edge. If you give it a swipe, it just kind of blends it all in together a bit better. So hold it there and just swipe. Yep, just a little bit. Just need to break it up a little bit. Excellent. Now, those two cards, I'm throwing away. This paper towel, throwing it away. So it actually looks like the phalo green is actually a little bit heavy and is sinking into the white a bit more. So even though it showed up more heavier phalo green over here, it's sinking back into the paint which um, it actually isn't bad because it's still there. But just keep that in mind. Some colours will do that. And I have a little flying bug in my room and I know it's going to fly into my paint. And I'm going to be so upset. But I can't catch it. Now, the fun part. Rotating this without getting paint on me or spilling it or dropping it or uh, anything crazy. Beautiful. Paper towel to wipe my hands. So I think I may have wavered a little bit when I did my line. I don't think I'm fully in the center over this end. Did I get him? Yes, I got the little flying bug. I'm so sorry bug, I hate hurting anything, but he's gonna fly into my painting, wiggle around and make a mess and really upset me. And then he would not be around either because he would have landed in the painting and... Sorry Mr. Bug. I love bugs. I take photographs of them. They're in my garden everywhere. But I don't like them in my paintings because they wiggle and squirm and they make all these lines that I hate. So now that we've turned it around, we just do the exact same thing from this side. Try to go all the way just to where you started the other one. So you don't want it too far into here but you kind of want it where you started your other swipe. Remember it's on the edge, so we want to do a half one. Yep. I'm not even... Mm, not pleased with myself about that. So I think I can feel that I'm not in the centre. I feel like that's a bigger swipe than it was that way. Just do my best. So it's just doing the exact same thing, but on this side. Yeah, it really feels like I'm picking up a lot more of the phalo green. But it, hopefully it will sink in again and blend like it has on the other side. Alright, that's getting soggy. See how it's curling up? Now that's getting a bit flimsy. 
So I want to hold it, but I want to hold it right there where it still gives me control. And always try to keep yourself well balanced. So as you can see, all these lacing is all developing. As it sits, it develops. Over here it's starting, the newer ones, it's they get it. But don't think, oh, I did a swipe and I didn't get lacing. Let it settle, settle and it will start developing. You should get similar reactions with most paint brands. But if you're not getting it looking the same, it could just be your, your paint brand or I use Australian flow troll. If that's the other, if you're doing it and you, you're using American or Canadian flow troll, try it with Australian flow troll and see if it works because it's probably giving you the same effects that you would get when you do like a bloom. It's just the way that Australian flow troll works. Don't worry so much if you do get these ripples. I got one over here and it's already leveled itself out. But I did skip, so I want to re-go over that skip. There we go. I don't like this card. It's getting too wobbly. So I get a new one. Don't skimp on certain things. You'll, you'll regret it later on if you go, no, nah, I'm not going to do that, and you skimp on something. Um, it's a big artwork. It costs money. To, all these paints cost money. It's costing you time. A couple of cents for a card or for a paper towel is not the end of the world. And if you mess up your painting, you're going to waste all that, that paint. So in a way, another way, if you're, if you're trying to be environmental, you're going to kind of waste paint if you mess it up. So you might as well use just an extra bit of paper towel or a bit of card to do your swiping. All right. Now I'm going to... I hope I'm giving you guys good tips and advice. This is also just a matter of doing it for yourself and seeing how you go. It takes time to perfect a technique. And you know what? Sometimes I did a I did a tried a technique for the first time and did it marvelous. And when I tried doing it another time, meh, messed it up. So but um a lot of these people that do excellent artwork and they only do one style, that's usually because they perfected it by doing that style so much. So just don't be so harsh on yourself as well. We all started somewhere. I've done, I've done fails in the last week, I can tell you now. I even uploaded a few fails. <laughs> I try not to not show my fails. If I make a fail, I try and upload it. Hopefully I can teach you something or you can look at it and go, I'm never using those colors. All right, last one, half off the canvas, half on, swipe. The edges, the, um, the last swipe is probably gonna be your harder ones. Your first and last. I'd right, say so that's not perfect, but if I try to fix it, it's going to make a mess. You're not going to see it so much on the edge. You're kind of focusing on this as a whole. So don't always try to make everything perfect. I find I'm, I am more likely to make a mess than actually fix it. So I don't always, if it's a major problem, try to fix it. If it's just a tiniest little speck somewhere, just ignore it, <laughs> which is easier said than done. Alrighty, this is it. So, one thing I can say about this is the middle is a little bit more subtle in the phalo green. The phalo greens really come out stronger on the two sides. I'm not going to stress over that. Um, you could 
put a drop here and a drop there, maybe cut one of these cards down in half so it's like even thinner again and do a little bit of green. I'm not going to bother. I think it's good that it is kind of on the sides and not so much in the middle. If I had heaps on this one side and none on that side, then I would be a bit more concerned. But it's still pretty symmetrical in the way that it is. And the phalo green is there. It just looks a little bit more dominant in a couple of spots. But I love it. So these colours work really, really well together. Um, the silver will show up more. Uh, it's... It's not always easy. I know I've got white patches and silver areas in the middle. But if I tried to go get to that end and pull the whole lot across, it would look like I've done uh it would look like I've gone an inch too far into that side. When this here is more even. That one that first one is probably a little bit too much to that side. So I've tried to leave a little, level it out, and that's why pouring your paint in the right spot makes the difference. But this looks awesome. I have got no complaints that I can say about this. I think it looks pretty cool. I've got long peaks. I've got shorter peaks. I've got a couple of peaks together, a couple of not-so-peaks together. The colors have blended really well. So like this one here, you can see there's the phalo green on this side. Then you can also see the Dane tree running down. And then there's the white and the silver that is going over the top of the permanent green violet. I mean, permanent light green. And like, let's take this swipe here for instance. I've got one green on one side, one green down in the middle, and one green on this side. I've got all three colours within one swipe. Oh, I've got another little bug. The little little midgy things I get, it, it's just hit spring and the bugs in Australia just come out of nowhere. So, um, well, they're always here, but more come out of nowhere. I don't know how they make their way into the house, but they do. So, this is awesome. Really, really thrilled. Now, all as I have to do is just hope nothing flies in it while it is drying. They will dry relatively quickly. I find um, the Floetrol ones seem to dry quite quicker than my glue ones. Um, it's just what happens. It will dry always from this, like this side down and that side down. And the middle will be the, the last part to actually dry. Um, also, probably because the paint has sunk a little bit into that middle. More than, probably you can't tell, but it is has actually done that. Now, one other thing. I tilted the white. So, we have to run our palette knife under the bottom. And clean up those bits. It's like most paintings or most pourings that you do. It's these little details that make it from a good job to a great job. And it's not too hard just to get a palette knife or a pop stick and just run it just under the edge to catch all those drips off. I'll check back in about 10 minutes to see if there's any more drips. Probably not. There won't probably won't be any, but it's worth doing. Um, there's a couple more at the back I missed. <clears throat> Is that them? Yep, that's them. Excellent. So... I'm going to bring you down for a close-up now that we have got all the things sorted out. If you follow the video, if you want to do something exactly the same as this, follow the video. Use the same measurements. Um, try to use the same products. If you don't have those products, um, try to make do with what you have, but you will have to experiment. If you are using different brands, you will have to keep doing a few test runs. Don't start on something this big. 
get a couple of small canvases, do it on that and see how it goes until you get the same type of, if, if you want this exact look, um, you may not want this exact look, you may want something, your own style of it, but I'm just saying, if you do want this exact look, either use the same products or practice on small canvases. Um, follow the instructions in the video. If you have other questions, you can ask me, but I don't actually always have the answers because this is how I have done it. I haven't tried it with other, um, I have done this with other paints. I found these Holcroft um, professionals, they're, they're better pigment, they work, they work the best. I will probably try these one day using Joe Sonia's um, and I may even try them one time using like Liquid, Liquitex Basics or Amsterdam. I don't have enough colours in those paints to try it. Um, I'm quite limited with those ones because there's just not a, enough of it around at the moment for me to buy. So use these paints if you can. If not, practice. Sorry if I seem a little bit strict with that, but it, it's just something you're going to have to do. It's not always easy. Um, you kind of got to learn with what you have. I'm going to pause you. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I, I hope that makes sense. And I am happy to answer questions. I just may not have the answers, so I just feel bad. But this is how it looks. Okay, it isn't so dark, and this white on this side isn't grey. I do not have um huge lighting setup. I've just got one ring light and one fluorescent light. So it kind of makes it look a little bit white on one side, grey on the other. It's just my lighting. Um, I will get a nice good photo of it once it is dry. Um, probably out in the sun and it will you, you will notice that it's, it's white white so I'm going to bring you down oh that was so here's the lacing actually let me I'll turn you this way then you can see it so that's from one edge and this is one side Oops, where are we there we go as you can see this lacing and these colors go all the way through looking awesome as you can see where's my finger different colors running through within the same swipe some go to the edge some don't this one's got a bit more silver in it this one nice two points then there's that here is the edge see it's not nothing fancy but it just means there's no solid white lines Oops, my cameras. There we go. And then here we go over here, this side. Coming along. As you can see, there's lacing all through it. The whole thing's got lacing through it. Some bits has got bigger lacing, some bits littler. Let's go have a look at that nice big lacing over here. See, look how awesome that is. We've got we got a really nice big lacing part there and then it fizzles down and goes all the way to the edge and these dry identical as long as there's no movement no bugs flying in it um, even surface they will they will dry identical to that so that's pretty cool there we go oh, sorry oh, this is a strain on me <laughs> but as you can see this is pretty cool um it's a nice big size and yeah so i'm going to leave it as that so like normal like comment subscribe if you haven't already and share my videos please share them that that really helps me out a lot uh gets more people seeing the video um then people can come and watch my channel and watch other videos so that really does help me out everyone hope you enjoy have a wonderful evening and I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye.